has a verse for you today. And you can find this in the book of Exodus. It's a really long verse, Miss Mary. I'm not sure if these kids are going to be able to memorize this verse because it is so long and so hard. You know, it's a hard verse to memorize. And it's the sixth commandment in the Bible in Exodus 20, and it is verse 13. And this is it, kids. So try and memorize this. It says, you shall not murder. Murder? Miss Mary? Have you ever murdered anybody? I have never murdered anyone. No, I've never murdered anybody. Kids, have you ever murdered anybody? No, I don't think so. You know what, kids? Don't murder anyone this week. Peace be with you. Yeah, I think that's going to run awesome. So, peace be with you. See you next week. But wait, Miss Mary. I think there must be a reason why God put this in the Bible because you know, there's laws against murdering people and typically we don't ever think about it. I mean, laws around the whole world about murdering people. So why would God have to put that in the Bible? You know, I've never murdered anyone. No one's ever murdered me, but I have hurt people, especially with my words. And people have definitely hurt me with their words. There's a little saying that Probably your grandparents said when they were little and maybe even your parents, but people don't say it anymore because it just doesn't make any sense. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. What? See what I mean? It doesn't make sense. Words definitely can hurt me. In fact, words can hurt me even more than sticks and stones. We can say things like, I hate you, or just mean things to people like you're terrible or just things that put people down instead of encouraging people words that harm them and we can do a lot of harm to people just with our words mm -hmm. and so uh, the verse is really about do not harm anybody whether it's physical or with words don't hurt anybody always be kind to everybody always be encouraging to everybody try to build people up don't get revenge just like all the other commandments, this is really hard. But like we said last week, when God asks us to do something hard, he's always willing to help us. Remember, nothing is impossible with God. Kids, here's an activity that you can try at home. Words hurt hearts. Every time you say something unkind, it hurts somebody's heart. Like, I hate you. Or, I wish you weren't my brother or sister. Go away. I don't want you here. You are so dumb. I don't want to be friends anymore. Those are my toys. You don't get to play with my toys. And here's our heart crumpled into a ball. Now, we can apologize when we've been unkind. We can say we're sorry. And we'll probably be forgiven. But there are still wrinkles, wrinkles that can't be forgotten. So there's a great saying, before you speak, think and be smart. It's hard to fix a wrinkled heart. So kids, this week, ask for God's help to be kind and to turn your anger into loving actions instead of hateful ones. Have a great week. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.